David Smith here with another Flipped Classroom Math video. A few tips before we start. Remember that you can speed up or slow down the playback if that helps you follow along. You can also pause the video at any point to catch up with your notes or to try the problems before I explain. Lastly, you can turn on the captions and follow along with my words on the bottom of your screen. Today's topic using the sine rule to find angles. So just like with Sokotoa trigonometry where we found sides and then we found angles using Sokotoa, you can also do the same thing with the sine rule. So check it out. Here's the sine rule. We've already done that, right? So I just gave us that same old diagram. The big letters are represent the angles, they're the corners of the vertices of the triangle, and then the little letters represent the lengths of the sides. And so the sine rule is all about ratios, and you have three of them. The ratio of the, the side over the sine of the opposite angle, so A over sine A equals B over sine B equals C over sine C. So these problems generally have, uh, they'll give you three things and ask you to find a fourth. So in our previous lesson, that fourth thing was another side. In this lesson, that fourth thing is going to be another angle. That's the only difference. So you're going to end up taking the inverse sine of some fraction to find your angle. So let's check that out. Okay, so here's the example problem. We have a, a nice obtuse triangle with a 30 degree angle up here and a four and a five. So this side is five, that's four, and we have a theta. So the instruction for this one might be find theta. So if you feel bold, go ahead and pause the video, use your sine rule, and see if you can write an equation that would help you solve for theta. Okay, so there's the equation. I just have four over sine 30. So it's the length of the side over the sine of the opposite angle, four over sine Oops, <laughs> I wrote theta. I meant 30. So 4 over sine 30 equals 5 over sine theta. Now we need to get sine theta alone. So go ahead and pause the video and work your algebra for that. Okay, so as you work this equation, we're going to switch the sine theta with the 4, put that down there, and then this sine 30 comes up and multiplies by the 5. So we get sine theta equals 5 times sine 30 over 4. Now pause the video and write the next step. Okay, so my next step is if, if theta is that, or if sine theta is that, then sine inverse of that is theta. So I wrote sine inverse of 5 times sine 30 over 4 equals theta. So go ahead, pause the video, get out your calculator and do that. And I want to ask you, Try to do this in one series of steps without having to write anything down and then round your answer at the very end. Okay, let's see how you did. When I put that into my calculator, I get theta equals 38.7 degrees. All right, here's another one for you to try. I have a nice little triangle set up right here for you. You know this side is 73, that side's 127, this angle is 105, and your instruction is to find phi. So pause the video and do all the steps and see what you get for phi. Then come back and take a look at how I did it. Find phi. So I wrote my equation, 73 over sine phi, because phi is opposite of 73. 73 over sine phi equals 127 over sine 105. 127 over sine 105. I rearranged the equation to get sine phi alone and I have sine phi equals 73 times sine 105 over 127. Change that to the inverse function. So I have sine inverse of that, which is this, equals theta. Run that all through my calculator, I get 33.7 degrees. All right, here's a problem that has a little bit more of a challenge to it. So I've given you the same thing as before. You've got two sides and one angle that you know, and one angle you're being asked to find out. So now, pause the video and work this problem and see if you can get through the challenge. Okay, so if you tried to work this, you realize that you don't know the side opposite of the angle that you want. So it's, you can't just plug into the sine rule and solve like we did the other two problems. But what you can do 
is you can find this angle. And once you find that angle, you can subtract it and 56 from 180 to get that angle. So let's do that. I'm gonna go ahead and call this angle with our phi, and then I'm gonna go ahead and find phi. But now that you've got the tips, why don't you pause the video and work all of this through. First find phi and then find theta. All right, let's see how you did. So finding phi, I set up my equation here where I have 3.49 over sine phi. That's this side over the opposite angle equals 3.65 over sine 56. So there's my basic equation. I rearranged it to solve for sine phi equals those three terms there. I took the inverse function of the terms. That's phi. Put that in my calculator. I got 52.4. Then I just have to subtract. Theta is going to be 180 minus the 56 we already knew minus our phi, 52.4 leaves us with 71.6 degrees for theta. Now, if you struggle to follow all those steps, I want you to pause the video and look it over and make sure you can do this kind of a problem. Now that you've finished, take a moment to write down any questions so you can bring them to our next class and get some help. You can also watch the video again to improve your understanding. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button down below, and if you'd like to help me grow my YouTube channel, please click subscribe.